welcome to the Dr. Gratitude official channel. I'm so grateful you have made it here. And if this is your first time tuning in, hello and welcome. Please take the time to like and subscribe and follow this amazing journey. My mission and my goal is to have an attitude of gratitude and I want to spread that worldwide so people can have life satisfaction, optimism, hope, love, peace, and of course, gratitude, because that's what we're here for. I'm taking people on a massive journey from day one to day 365 days to transform your world. Each episode, I go through a daily challenge or reflection. I also go through something that is published in my journal, and I also go through a personalized journal entry that has been written from me so I can inspire you guys on how to cultivate and how to do gratitude because there are still people out there that do not know how to do it. And it still mind blows me on how people don't know how to do it or they can't experience feelings of gratitude or don't even know what to be grateful for in their life. So these episodes are going to help you. All right, so today we're going straight into the daily challenge, which is building your confidence. I coach so many people locally, nationally, internationally on building up confidence. Now confidence just doesn't click and happen. It takes time, it takes special care to yourself. So one of the things I want you to look at is taking care of your health, your fitness, your sleep, your eating. And when you start to do those healthy habits for yourself, confidence starts to build. The other thing too, when you start to get out of that comfort zone and into the uncomfortable zone and you overcome the fear, confidence and self-esteem starts to build up and you get a stronger sense of being confident in who you are because you can do amazing things. Another thing is all the things that you've learned over time, practicing and mastering to get to this point in time is also going to give you loads of confidence. So keep practicing, keep going, because that confidence will build over and over again. Also, your body posture and your body language will also help with boosting your confidence. So take the time to do little activities that's gonna help you build your confidence so you can show up in the world as your best self. Stand tall, stand proud, you are amazing. There will be people that will try to tear you down, but just ignore them and block them. If that's on social media, block it. There are so many trolls out there and I have horrible people say horrible things to me, but I choose to delete and block. This way I let the good stuff come in. If I focused on all of those disempowering words, like I have spoken about in the discipline, about words before, about the power of language, if we kept listening to those disempowering words, that's gonna bring down our confidence and our worth. So guys, I want you to start doing those activities that will help you to build your confidence. And it just doesn't happen overnight. It's a muscle that needs to keep being built. And I know there's confidence within you. Keep doing, keep trying, keep practicing. You will get there. It's taken me 41 years nearly to get to this point to have the confidence. Speaking on stage, I used to freak out. I used to shake. Getting on camera was another fear of mine. Spent four hours because I didn't have the confidence to do it. Writing my first book didn't have the confidence to market my book because I was too scared of what people would say. But I've overcome that and gone out there because I've built up the confidence over time. So I look forward to seeing how you can build up your confidence. And please put in the chat what you've discovered and what you've learned. Here we go into this beautiful journal that I have published called Dear God with Gratitude, 365 Days of Thankfulness to Transform Your World. Day 78. Dear God, I am grateful for my wisdom. Thank you, God. I'm grateful for the last video call with my friend Kainu. I know that he loved me. To see him go at such a young age with two beautiful children breaks my heart. I'm grateful for the love and support all around me. I'm blessed. I'm grateful for winning another $2.5 thousand dollars for the Women's Walk and Talk to help gain mental health first aid in the community. Thank you, God. 
It was a it was a day of celebration and also a day of mourning. Kainu, my love to you. Our last phone conversation was absolutely beautiful. I love that you shared how much you loved me. I love you too. Rest in peace. I know you're around. I know you're looking on and I know you want me to be the best version of myself. And this is why I do everything that I do. I love you from the top and bottom of my heart. So guys, if you do suffer with any mental health issues, I'll put some links to some mental health support agencies that you can connect to in Australia. If it's outside of Australia, I'm, I will try and find some that are in the US for you guys. But I look forward to tuning in to the next episode. If you have gotten this far, thank you so much as well. Please take the time to like and subscribe so you can be notified for, on each of the episodes and continue on this amazing journey. But before I head out, remember guys, gratitude is the best attitude. Peace out.